Hi there everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be watching some old school American ads. So I've brought back Noah and Corey. Who are, I'm Corey. They're very experienced with commercials. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think last time when you guys were showing me some of your ads, I was quickly able to realize there's a lot of similarities. There's some commercials that you guys basically have rebranded or maybe we've rebranded. And so without further ado, Let's jump into the coolie ones. Do you guys know what Chef Boyardee is? I know him from this. This is going to be throughout the video. I know him There's going to the be a Simpsons. lot of Simpsons like, yeah. commercials that I have in here in terms of things that are referenced in the Simpsons. Yeah. Chef, Chef? Chef Sh Boyardee. Chef? Chef Boyardee. Uh, as soon as you recognize what this is basically the same ad as in the UK, you can just say something. Oh, not tonight, sweetie. You've had Chef every night this week. But I love Chef. She said that every single night. Oh, don't Yeah. yeah. Wait. Baby Bell! Yeah. <laughs> it's just the Baby Bell ad, except... It works a lot better with Baby Bell. <laughs> Are you sure? No, this... It just drops off the shelf. <laughs> it's not even a circle. It's just... It, it, but it's sentient, see? This is like Toy Story 2, but... But with, with a kind of product like... placement. <laughs> what is it? Beans? <laughs> Spaghetti, Spaghetti it's, it's It's like... Chef Boyardee is like loads of different pasta, but it's processed and put into a can. So instead of cooking spaghetti, you just it's can. Like spaghetti hoops. Yes. So it finally makes it. I had that slide. To their house. I had this slide as well. There we go. What do you want for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what that face is supposed to be, but like. Uh, mom's gonna be like, Did you steal? That's so uncomfortable. No, he's great. Boy, this stuff is good. <laughs> Chef, Chef Boy, Boyardi. 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 It's not even Italian. No, I don't think it's pretending to be, but it's the chef. The chef? Oh, he looks older than I thought he would. But I remember this ad as a kid. All it's a time. poppin' one. None, they didn't say, boy, this stuff is good. No, I think that's in other ads, but that's like the general general slogan. Why would they not say the slogan? That's Cause, like cause a Baby Bell know... advert without ba 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 Baby Bell. Who is this for? Yeah, is this an ad for, for kids. adults or kids? Well, it's mostly for kids, because kids want... The th uh, this kid clearly having this every single night, so her parents are living it up. Um, <laughs> I know kids that were like that. They're the worst kind of kids. You were one of those kids. I was not one of those kids. Uh, skipping out of the food ads, there's a lot of commercials, like I said, that I think Corey's going to pick up on because The Simpsons has either taken the, the jingle or has referenced it. So I'll see how fast and so you can get... Where's the beef? What this is from. Oh, I'll have that one. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Call Mr. Plot. Yeah! <laughs> That's my name, that name. It is Mr. Plow. It's literally the Roto-Rooter theme, and so whenever I saw that episode of The Simpsons, I was always like, but that's Roto-Rooter, that's the name. Yeah, and that's what The Simpsons is making fun of. Are you of. kidding me? It's Roto-Rooter. I just thought it was a good jingle. But as a kid, why do I care so much about a plumbing company? Because it's got a cool jingle. Oh, it's a plumbing what company? It? Well, it's a company that does water and plumbing. What does Ro- that, I don't understand. It's a Roto-Rooter, so like, they go in and fix your pipes. Like Super Mario. Listen, I just know it from no, the jingle. Not... I genuinely never had to call them. I never. It, it's just as a kid, it was a catchy jingle, and you want to sing along to it. So, but The Simpsons took that as well. I can't believe they stole Mr. Plow. My world has changed. Yeah, Mr. Plow is not an original. But also, as a kid, clearly you're gonna remember a lot of jingles and songs and animals. And so, if they put them together in this adorable ad, Hello, mother. which Hello, is also father. taken from The Simpsons. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Swimming, hiking, and tent pitching. They're not biting. I'm not itching. Can't wait to show you all my new tricks. Thanks again for giving me canine advantage. Why do they always use like gravelly kids' voices for animals? Like, there's never just a normal voice. It's like <gasps> because it's, it's like adorable. The same, it's, it's the like... same voice that they use in like Paw Patrol and all those. New ones, right? Yeah, but why? Like, the air... I guess it works. I love this. As a kid, the, I could, literally as soon as this song came on, I would just immediately start singing it. My what mom. is it for? Is it like a, a dog thing? Well, it's no, it's for dog scratching stuff. So if dogs have ticks or bites or anything from outdoors, you just spray them with canine I advantage. Did, I did not pick that up at all. No. I thought Swimming there was some like summer camp. I'm not biting. Dog. They're not biting. I'm not itching. You know what I'm saying? It's it's in the song lyrics. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't listening to the lyrics. <laughs> we also have a couple of ads that. As a kid, you remember a lot because they're funny sounding in terms of inappropriateness. But yet they're not that inappropriate, but they they do it all. Looking for that ooh, ooh. I feel. This is quite crushed. Uh, 
it's mostly the end, but... That's Weird. inappropriate. So yeah, as as a kid, you just be like, oh, uh. what is it with mascots m m like marketed to women being bald? Yo, it's a beefy bald man. Yeah, like he's pretty. He's pretty handsome. Look at that guy. Like, <laughs> why? Like he gets it. I'd sleep in a mattress from him. You know. I don't like that at all. No? You can see his abs under his shirt. That's. Cool. <laughs> I, I don't I know. Hate this. And so like that was an ad where as a kid I don't remember anything at the beginning, but I always as soon as I heard it was like, oh, I'm ready for ooh ah. Uh. Just want to say ooh ah real loud. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. In America, we had cars for kids. This is the worst ad in the world. Cars for kids. How do you know this? Cars for kids. Cars for kids. She's not playing cards. No, none of them are. <laughs> oh. Kids saying Max Why is it ADR yard so bad? What is this? Donate your car today to Cars for Kids. Because you you donate your car and then the you kids get, get right the kids get something. I don't know. I actually have no clue. But if you're ever listening to any radio station, you will just hear this horrible jingle at all times of the day, and it's just yeah. I think I know this from SNL. Oh okay, they yeah. have done. <laughs> it, it's just such an annoying thing that it's part of our pop culture now. This is the newer version. There's obviously older ones, but yes, none of them are actually singing. It's like um, a Naked Brothers Band music it, video. They, they're dressed like the Naked Brothers yeah. Band. Who's the Naked Brothers Band? You don't know the Naked Brothers Band? That sounds inappropriate. You got a banana smoothie. I don't know that one. Banana <laughs> smoothie. The weird thing about this is, is that all of these ads, I just thought they were weird jokes from shows. Yeah, no, we just have they this actually part of exist. I don't know any of these. So you guys are just laughing and I'm like, what did they laugh? I don't know what's <laughs> funny. Like, well, yeah, well, it's just, so obviously uh, you're a vegan. You don't drink milk. Uh, but milk is incredibly advertised in the U.S. Like we're always making got milk got types milk. of ads. So this is one of the ones that is a bit scary as a kid, and you can understand why we drink so much milk for by the dairy companies. Drink but milk, kids. I don't want milk. Milk's for babies. Uh -uh. Yeah, babies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh well, I happen to know that milk helps build strong bones. So drink up. Well, Mr. Miller told me he never drinks milk. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! No, that's not good. Drink your milk. Noisy. <laughs> what? You that's don't horrifying! <laughs> that Why milk. does milk need to be advertised? I swear that's one of the like basics you need in your yeah. fridge. Well, because it's not even a milk brand. It's just milk. No, it's it's paid for by like the dairy lobbies to make sure that you're drinking more milk. Milk with meals was promoted when I was. America's kid. horrible. If you go back, I feel that mother looks like a young Elizabeth Warren. Well, I have to oh my <laughs> gosh! Uh, so does this make you want to drink milk now as a vegan? Uh, no, I never want to touch milk again. No, because you don't want to lose your arms. That's it's horrifying. like the Arrested Development guy, basically. So for this one. I want you to please tell me what this is. Oh my god, head on, apply directly to the head. How do you know apply this? Directly um, to the forehead, head on, apply directly to the forehead, head on, apply directly to the forehead, head on, available at Walgreens. What oh, is, what is head on? It's to, he that's the whole commercial by the way. Just repeats. Well, that's what they fever? want, that's what they want you to believe. It looks like a, is a it just Vaseline? It doesn't do anything. How, and that's why they legally can't say it helps headaches. So they would be sued for false advertising. So what they do say is, head on, apply directly to the forehead. And you have to assume that it's for headaches, which it doesn't actually do anything for. It's like snake oil. It, it does say that on the packaging, apply, apply directly, directly to, to the, the forehead. forehead. They're not legally allowed to say that it helps with headaches. I'm pretty sure this is what I was uh, taught growing up and that's why they can't say anything. It has like 0.1% of this chapstick is like a menthol that's supposed to help, but. That's insane. If you were watching the, the Weather Channel, this ad would be on and then it would just be on again and again, and then have it three times, you'd be like, head on, apply directly. But it, it, you loved it as a kid. It goes on too long. It's it's like a fever dream. But it, it, I remember it because of this, you know, that's, that's the whole purpose. You guys, meow, 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 meow. How do you know all of the ad <laughs> story? <laughs> this is, it's like two Americans here. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> you know the words! Everyone loves meow mix. Cat's ass, pull it by name. <laughs> meow, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> it's meow. That's what Art is asking for. Yeah, cat's ass, pull it by name. This is amazing. I, I'm loving actually seeing these ads. I don't know, I guess you've just had too much American pop culture here. 
Okay, you did show me a Frosty commercial, so I've now got the one that I was telling you about, which is baseball related, and I find better than your one, personally. That high school musical too. <laughs> They're in elementary school. Ta-da. He's not singing the right note. Why are no, they dressed but, in blue? Because that's their team. But they're tigers. I never even thought about that. Oh, there it matches the box. There we go. Branding. Is that, Is that Taylor, that's Taylor Lautner? Lautner? Wait, what? That's Taylor, Taylor Lautner. Lautner! Oh my god, that's no! Shock boy. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, that's it Taylor is. Lautner. Good eye. That's <laughs> young Taylor Lautner. <laughs> Ours was High School Musical 1. This is High School Musical 2. Okay, I'll, I'll yeah. take that. That's fine. Without the gay undertone. <laughs> Over Taylor. You guys had a lot of board games, I'm assuming, in the UK to yeah. play with. Yeah. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had a board game shortage. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you had the so the concept of this <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> The concept of this next game is essentially, if you wake your father, he'll beat you. So, oh, don't wake him. This is like Buckaroo in Operation in yeah. the same game. I guess, but that was a game that I always wanted as a kid because the commercial was so fun. I'm sure we had a game like that that wasn't so... What in so... your family that was just literally Don't Wake Daddy? I didn't have to. Don't Daddy. wake... F oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> so no, I mean, we genuinely had a game like that that didn't have those awful undertones of your dad's gonna beat you. <laughs> <laughs> it was more relatable to me as a child. <laughs> I loved the game because it was... I didn't get hurt. <laughs> Baby bottle poo? Baby bottle pop. Oh. Instructions. We had them. Yeah, you did. did. I can taste yeah. them though. They're really like. I thought it's you the same as no. Them, when they when they shook it and they licked it, I was like. It's like the same as a juicy drop pop and stuff. It's all yes. those nineties just. It. I oh. always wanted it, but just because the commercial. But they weren't really that great. I oh. preferred push pops. But they always, oh, good. when yeah. you did a push pop, your finger became disgusting because it was covered mm -hmm. in like juices. How much spit did you have? Enough. Thank you. Were you <laughs> spitting into it? No, it just drips through, man. You suck a pop, it's going to be liquidy. Let's move on. I'm you moving. suck the liquid into your mouth. <laughs> What are Zoopals? Oh, they're plates where you make, you got to eat. When you clean your plate, then you see their face. See? It's quite fun. <laughs> it's the whole concept, but... <laughs> that is, and then there's the Toy Story 4 crossover. Forky! <laughs> this ad was just one that was on every day, so even if you hated it, you were like, Mom, you'd think... I've never had anything like that. You'd think like they'd that. have, like, written a good song. At the end, that did not count. No, <laughs> Zoopals! Uh, I still have never used them, but I always wanted them. My mom would never buy into these terrible commercials, sadly. Well, you shouldn't need to convince Probably a kid a to mom. clean their plate. I suppose. <laughs> you were saying you really wanted that cereal ad because it was super cool and you wanted to be like the kid or whatever. Yeah. That was basically the Capri Sun ad. Oh, Capri Sun. Capri Sun. Oh, Capri Sun. Is also, this Terminator 2? <laughs> he, he genuinely doesn't, he misses the basket if you look at where the basket balls are in. Watch. No! <laughs> <laughs> and it's in. Whoosh! Capri size. Liquid cool. Liquid cool. Uh, Terminator ruined that for me. He's. Oh. I thought it was more like Alex Mack. I think there was a TV show when I was a kid called that, in which the girl would turn into like. Mercury. Your Capri Sun ads, they weren't that cool. They were no, like, you gotta squeeze them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's because like sometimes there was stuff that was like, you would you would drink your Capri Sun and suck it, and then something else would have its juice sucked out. Like a building. Do you remember those? Maybe. I hope I'm not <laughs> making that. <laughs> the shortest ad, but I love this man. Today. That's it. Like what that. what is <laughs> it for? <laughs> but it's, it's, it again. What does he do? <laughs> Today. 
doesn't even say... There's oh. a common theme with these adverts, but they don't say what they are for. No, but it's for flooring. Yeah, but you but don't I, want to know that. I don't. <laughs> He's putting it's seven now. seconds long. I know, <laughs> but it's just like, uh, da, da. I know that number in my head. Yeah, but you don't know what to call it for. No, but... Oh, he needs to get my floors done. Today. If only I knew. I felt the same way about 118118, though. Yes, this like, is better. I didn't just say oh, what, anything. What, what, what was 118? I think you just asked him a question. Oh, yeah. You know, like the standard Sunday, Sunday, Sunday... It's time for Sunday, everything. Sunday, Sunday. So some company decided that would be a good theme for their clothing company. Emergency summer clearance for our mind. Entire fifteen dollars summer fashion inventory has gotta go. Red hot shorts, cargoes, camo, wood shorts, famous maker active wear, even swimwear below cost. Five bucks. Just arrived summer fashion dresses and beach cover ups. You'll love the name. Seven bucks. Ruckles and flip flops. Too much going on. I know. T-shirts, muscle tees, collars, twenty thousand. Pink tops. For ten bucks. Emergency summer clearance. Come stretch those bills. Farm on mail. This is like the American DFS sale. No. Oh That's my God! Mean. Yes. <laughs> I never even thought about it. Yeah, their ads just scream at you. So as a kid, you just farm on mail. But this was made when Twitter and Facebook were a thing. Yeah, the old that's, logo. That shit like halfway through. L, L, L. L Mills. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that I think I've quoted too many times, and I feel like most Americans that have seen this ad annoyingly have it. In the back of their brains. Here we go. So do you. Your cell phone bill is what's up. All this texting. OMG, I am VD. It is a big deal. <laughs> Who are you texting 50 times a day? I'd okay, my BFF Jill. Tell your BFF Jill that I'm taking away your phone. T I S and F. Me paying this bill, that's what's to S. Danielle. Now too much texting is NBD. <laughs> Singular brings you un... I like that. I hate when that. We <laughs> say IDK my BFF Jill. That was just a thing. If someone says IDK, you're like, you're BFF Jill? Really dumb, but also Singular doesn't exist anymore as a company. Who so. is it for? LG. Well, it's for the company Singular Wireless, which is like a cell phone company. But who are they advertising to? That's not for adults or kids. Well, it's supposed to be a joke that, you know, all those kids are always texting with these things you don't understand. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. You use Singular Wireless. And now, I hope you haven't seen any of these, Corey, because... I have. You've seen the Geico commercials. I love the Geico commercials. I'm the only person... All right, Noah, no, no, so let's <laughs> find out what you think here. Geico... They decided to have a campaign about a caveman, and then it's they have an entire storyline of like probably twenty different ads where things currently happen to this poor guy. So here's the it's first so one. Easy to use Geico.com. A caveman could do it. What? <laughs> no, like, not cool. <laughs> 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 and so that's just the first one. What happened to the Geico Gecko? There's also this. You can handle all your car insurance needs online. It's so easy, a caveman could do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's loud. Seriously, we apologize. We had no idea you guys were still around. <laughs> yeah, next time maybe do a little research. Gentlemen, are we ready to order? I'll have the roast duck with the mango salsa. I don't have much of an appetite, thank you. <laughs> this feels like like too accurate to like America today. Yes. Like it's just offensive if it's true. Okay, first of all, I'm not 100% in love with your tone right now. Tone aside, historically, you guys have struggled to adapt. Yeah, right. Walking upright, discovering fire, inventing the wheel, laying the foundation for all mankind. You're right. Good point. Sorry we couldn't get that to you sooner. Connie, your reaction? Sounds like someone woke up from the wrong side of the rock. <laughs> yeah. How are they allowed to do this? <laughs> like, I really think that'll make people want to buy yeah. from. But the great thing is that will just like people who haven't seen the beginning ones will just see that and be like, I don't wait. What? I thought you were going to talk about the. Ge I didn't realize it was a caveman. There's the caveman series. There's the gecko series. They have like Geico's like in my opinion the winner of all the U.S. ads for that one. The last one, of course, one more Geico ad. This one is, I think, one of my favorites of all time. I don't know why I quote yeah, it. Maybe. I'd like to make a quick call, please. First name, Bob. Last name is... We out of baby. Eats a boy. Hello? Can I call for Mr. Bob? We out of baby. Eats a boy. Sorry. Wrong number. Who's that, dear? Bob. They had a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> if you like saving money, call Guy Go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb, but that... We had a baby to So those are all the ads I got today. What were your favorites, Corey? Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Please don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Head on. There it is. Directly. There it is. Stop. <laughs> That's enough. I like Meow Mate. 
Meow Mix is a lovely song. Don't do it. <laughs> Head <laughs> on! I'm no! Like right I think, yeah, Meow Mix is one that I think even my mom would quote all the time. So it doesn't just affect kids. It's a really good song. <laughs> I'm like in between the K9's Advantix song and IDK, my BFF Joe. I guess in terms of songs, I, I yeah, the ones that stick with me were, it's so dumb, but I wrote a Rooter and K9 Advantix. Wait, was, was that the, the Mr. Plow? <laughs> <laughs> Roto Rooter, that's the name. That Runs name again is down Mr. Plow. Roto Rooter, that name again <laughs> is Mr. Mr. Plow. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, plow through that thumbs up button. That's inappropriate, but I'd love it if you did it. Ask for consent. I consent. To you subscribing, thanks for watching these videos. If you want, you can click some other videos over there, or check these guys' links in the description. Ooh. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>